Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Rat Kutsarot and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for October 8th to October 14th, 2018. And uh, while I'm doing the shuffling guys, uh, I want to remind you that uh, this will be a, a general Tarot and Lenormand reading for the star sign of Gemini. And this is not your personal reading. Therefore, uh, I will explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the, in the spread, but it kind of falls, falls to you to um, make sense of, uh, sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want a, a specific draw of a card for a specific situation of yours, then this is a matter of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there we are going to... Um, and there you will find, you know, a list of my services as well as their pricings. And as soon as you make a purchase, we're going to schedule an appropriate time for the reading. Uh, anyway, one more thing. The monthly October videos are already out. And if you haven't checked them out, please <clears throat> do so. And uh, if you find them uh, helpful, you know, and you want to know even more about your month, there is a um, extended monthly tarot readings which are specifically focusing upon the star signs, career and relationship development, which can be purchased from the website as well for just $1.49. So that set aside, <clears throat> let's see what awaits you here, Gemini. Now the first position will be about the topic of your week. The second position that will regard to the core of the situation. The third position is about the challenges which are causing predicaments. And the last position that will be uh, the guidance that Taro has to offer to you. So let's see what we got here now. Uh, on the first position, which is the general topic of the week, we do have the Eight of Cups. So you Gemini in this week are going to start uh, obtaining a bigger and bigger insight that something isn't quite right around you. And I'm not talking about that there will be any um, supernatural events or something terrible is going to happen, you know, and that you are going to end up heartbroken, etc., etc. The, the Eight of Cups is very far from that. Oh my God, sneeze a lot. I may sneeze. Um, so, yeah, oh my God. Anyway, so what the card points is that you will start realizing that undertakings and events <coughs> oh excuse me undertakings and events and in general you know things you have involved yourself in that previously gave you happiness and made you fulfilled they are making you less and less fulfilled a natural unfoldment of a human being no different than one taking drugs you know our body uh, kind of like um builds up tolerance and as a matter of fact any experience is no different than the drugs than the drugs you know than the medications those who have a effect, a effect of our brain because just scientifically speaking you know uh, your brain produces dopamine uh, serotonin and um, oxytocin every time they, these are hormones every time that you experience something good you know and our body, however, uh, starts building up tolerance the more you're experiencing the same thing. In other words, we start getting used to it and we don't put in the same value any longer. And this is what is going to happen with you uh, throughout this week. So what happens here is that you will start realizing that something needs to change. You know, something in your uh, rock solid routine, that boredom that you are experiencing either into your career, as you may find that an, a, 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 a task or a project that you were working on previously that was that you were very excited to work on it is no longer that exciting, you know, or your relationship. It is not just as the, the very initial state of the relationship where there were butterflies in the stomach, you know, you were excited to see your partner. And now at this, uh, this stage is kind of like, whatever you know I mean I'm gonna see him so like every other day so what the point of this car is that you will start realizing that um, something needs to change and that change needs to come from within from you I mean you need to be the initiator 
of that specific change, either changing a job place, either changing an approach toward the project, either changing the routine into one relationship, that will be the topic of your week because you desperately here will realize that you need a better perspective. You don't want to be in the same place all over again uh, tomorrow and the day after and the day after that. You know, you, you want something to excite you. And so this week will run under the banner of finding a way how to make your daily reality exciting once again. And the core of the situation here is the uh, Wheel of Fortune. So that is why you are reaching to that conclusion. And for what it seems here, the Wheel points that you are going to have a glimpse of experiences of a life uh, that your life can be, if that makes sense. That could involve, just to give you an example, so I kind of make myself more clearer. Uh, let's say that, uh, you know, you are working upon your tasks into your career, but suddenly you are called to help somebody with their tasks and you find their tasks much more amusing than yours. And you suddenly, this isn't about jealousy, it's about like honorable envy that you are envying this person not with ill emotions here that they have that exciting job and you will want something like this for yourself you know and that will be the thing that will force not force you but make you seek a specific change into your career or into your relationship and same goes into your career uh, into your relationship as well you know you may contribute with your partner into an event that you may decide that you like it very much but it is not present currently in the routine of the relationship and that will make make you think, you know, we can be so much happier, you know, we can uh, reboot the uh, initial excitement we had to be with one another, etc, etc. So the Wheel of Fortune here gives you a, a glimpse of what your life could be, while right now it isn't, but also offers you a, a solution and a way how you can traverse your current routine and current life into the thing that you want your life to be. But one is here um, certain that your life needs so-called a fresh wind, figuratively speaking. <clears throat> and then the next card points what will be the challenges causing predicaments here. We have the Ten of Cups. And that card in this specific case signifies that you may be hesitant and reluctant, you know, to change anything into your environment for the reason that you find whatever you do have around you as a blessing and you will not want to jeopardize whatever it is around you uh, as a relationship status or as a uh, social and working status. However, the Ten of Cups points that there will there is no much of a room for a risk here. You know, I mean, if you are afraid to make a certain risk, this is completely a um a kind of like imaginary state here, a celluloid state, because in reality, risk is not involved. And if you think about it, it is kind of true because, uh, let's face it, if someone loves you, just because you try to make the relationship more dynamic, they will not tell you to go away, you know. I mean, they if they love you, they will try with you to make the relationship more dynamic. And if you are a valuable asset into your company, then your company should listen what you have to say. I mean, they, they, they com your company company, if you are a valuable asset there, they have to be very concerned if you don't find any more reason to stand up every morning and go for work because the work simply, instead of in, uh, instead of making you enjoy it, you know, and <clears throat> the, it, the work itself making you despondent. So it, it will be important here to acknowledge, you know, that you simply need more. That is the challenge that causes predicaments, that you need to acknowledge and shout it out loud that it's not enough anymore and you need more, just like every single human being needs a an opportunity to grow. And the last card here, it will be uh, the guidance that Taro um, gives you or kind of offers to you. And uh, uh, this is a, a, a first of all that these are a couple of guidances first of all you need to know that you are not alone into that situation and there is someone very close to you um, that it is experiencing the same kind of thing and you are very fortunate if you, if this is about your relationship because that signifies that your partner is feeling the same way they, they also want something new exciting and thrilling to happen into that relationship if they haven't spoken yet about it it's because they are afraid that you may 
denied him and that further may kind of like jeopardize the harmony that you do have in it however <clears throat> This card also points that maybe your co-worker that you are partners with into the task also feels the same way, etc, etc. But, however, this card also points that no matter how much one tries, they may, they will never make their situation a 100% secure. You know, you have to own the thing if you want it to be 100% secure. And again, you, you cannot be maybe 99.99, .99, but there is an, always a, a possibility that the thing is going to fall in ruin, in ruin someday. I'm not saying that it will, but such a possibility always persists. Therefore, um, Instead of being afraid losing it, this card advises you to be more prone to kind of like make it even better and expand it. But to do so, you need courage, you know, you need an open mind and you need readiness to face what is to come. Of course, a new initiation or a change always comes with its fair share of predicaments, you know, its fair share of problems, misunderstandings and, uh, uh, you know, <clears throat> disagreements, etc, etc. But if you are afraid to go into dispute or to find solutions to predicaments, then simply, you know, you can scratch out your life as reached maximum potential and basically do what you are doing for the rest of your life. For the rest, Geminis, which wants improvement, then they have to be a little bit more brave and really acknowledge that they simply need more. So that was the tarot reading. Now let's see what the Lenormand reading for you guys has to say. Uh, that will be about event which is uh, hap which is happening and you should either look forward to or try to avoid. <clears throat> now let's see here what we got. Let me cut the cards. And the first one that is going to be the moon card which sits for recognition, it sits for fame, and it also sits how others sees you. The next card that is going to be the broom and the whip, which sits for disputes, disagreements, uh, wrangles, and uh, scandals in its very severe form of manifestation. And the last card, this is the cross, which sits for unpleasanty, uh, grief, suffering in a very extreme manifestation and in general is something that will uh, that will make you uh, agitated and poignant so what we have here is the a scandal which is very agitating and which is very uh, harmful for the both sides or a dispute disagreement or a wrangle that it's harmful harmful for the both sides of uh, those who are wrangling about whatever it will become famous so everybody will know about it that may no, not concern you directly okay but you may kind of like pull out dividends from it or you may not pull dividends from it there is a numerous way how this event could manifest that could be a, a huge dispute in between uh, a co-worker of yours uh, which is sitting in a position that you want with your boss therefore that could be a prerequisite for them to be fired and as they are fired you will have a clear room for here to make a change because you may temporarily assign, as I said, a glimpse, you have a glimpse of what could be, you could be temporarily assigned there to carry, uh, to kind of take care of their work until a, uh, a an appropriate um, asset is found. However, you may do such a good performance that your boss may start considering that you are the appropriate asset, you know. Anyway, or it could be you involved uh, with some sort of a dispute that you don't want to be, uh, to be make much noise about. However, a noise is going to be made. So anyway, uh, this is an event that, should, that you should either look forward to or try to avoid. Try to make the most out of it, especially if you are a third party finding yourself in it, like a judge or like someone who is just waiting the thing to get over with and to uh, reap out the benefits from uh, a, a, circumstan a circumstantial uh, benefits etc etc so that was the Tarot and Lenormand reading for you Geminis for October 2018 um, weekly reading for that matter that is for 
October 8 to October 14, 2018. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, again, this was a general reading for the Gemini star sign. Um, and I have explained you the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you by uh, drawing cards and align them, making sense of them, etc. for your personal situation, uh, then that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website listed down below in the description of this video. And there you will find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.